hello everyone uh, welcome to the test ng series so this is session number five and in this session we are going to see how we can use the include and exclude tags in the test ng okay so this include and exclude tags can be applied for a methods okay test ng methods or packages or you can use it with the run so how we are going to use include and exclude uh, with this run uh, i am going to cover when we uh, discuss about the groups concept okay so for this particular session we will see how we can use this include and exclude tags for different methods different test ng methods and the package so this include and exclude is uh, the facility one of the facility provided by the test ng framework by which uh, we can have control on your test case execution so in our uh, real time projects we can have multiple test ng classes uh, which will contains multiple test ng methods right which we called as a test methods so there can be a situation where we want to run all the test methods so for example you are uh, in your framework you have 100 test methods for example and you want to run all those 100 test cases or 100 test methods so how we are going to do that then another scenario can be i want to run only few test cases from that 100 test cases so let's say i want to run only 10 test methods out of that 100 test methods so how i am going to handle it or opposite to this if i want to run 90 test methods i just want to exclude remaining 10 test uh, methods from that 100 so how i am going to handle this so these are some of the scenarios for our test methods okay and same applies for the package so what if i want to run all the test methods from all the packages available in my framework okay so there can be multiple packages and multiple package will contain multiple test ng classes that is called a test cases and in the test case we can have multiple test methods right so what if i want to run all those test methods from the all the test cases from all the packages available or sometimes i want to run only test methods from a specific package and another scenario can be i don't want to run some test cases from a specific package so like this there can be different scenarios for the packages as well so we can expect one or two questions uh, definitely in the interviews regarding this include and exclude how we use in test ng so this is very important so watch this session completely and watch carefully so i have this sample me project created for this test ng tutorials and you can see under src test java i have two packages com.ko.package1 and com.ko.package2 so inside this package one i have multiple test ng classes so currently i have two test case one and test case two and same for uh, package two test case three and test case four okay so these are nothing but the test ng classes and inside this test ng classes i have multiple test methods okay so i have included a few test methods and i am just printing some sample statement in the console so first scenario for the test method is we want to run all the test methods from multiple classes in different packages okay that means we want to run all the uh, all the test methods from all the classes from all the packages available uh, in this maven project so for that purpose you just have to create test ng suit file xml file for your project so i have already created it so if you don't know how to create it you can right click on your project go to this test ng and click on this convert to test ng so by default it will give some suit name okay you can change it later you can change the test name as well and by default it will add all the classes available in your framework okay so if you click on finish it will create a test ng xml file at the framework level so this is my test ng xml file for my project so you can see here under this classes tag we have different classes that we want to run okay so this is the class tag starting from here and ending here and inside the name you just have to provide which class you want to run so this is the package name com.qa.package1 dot from that package i want to run test case 1 similarly test case 2 from package 1 test case 3 and test case 4 from the package 2 okay so you need to provide fully qualified name if you want to run any class uh, from your maven project so now if we run this test ng xml it will run all the test methods available in test case 1 test case 2 test case 3 and test case 4 so we can see now uh, this is the package 1 output so from package 1 test case 1 have uh, five methods five test methods okay you can see here and from package 1 test case 2 we have three test methods okay so they got executed and from the package 2 uh, we have test case 3 so in that also we have five test methods m1 m2 m3 and m m4 and m5 and in package 2 we have uh, three test uh, three test methods in the test case 4 that means we run all the test methods available in our project 
so now second scenario is important i want to run only few test methods from a specific classes so in that case we need to use this include and exclude so let's see how we can do that so for example from this test case one which contains five test methods right m1 to m5 so if i want to run only m1 and m2 from test case one and m6 and m7 from the test case two from the package one so if i want to do this configuration how we can do that let's say i will press enter here so from test case one so this class is starting here and ending here so first you need to remove this okay and we will close here okay so this is the part of first class so from this class i want control on the test methods so for that purpose you need to first add this method stack okay so it is starting and ending tag you need to add so and inside this methods tag we can now use include and exclude tags so from all the methods available in the test case one class i want to include some of the methods okay few methods that means i will provide include name equal to i need to provide the method name that you want to run okay so i want to run only m1 and m2 from the test case one so i will simply write m1 here i will close this and same again i will add same entry for the m2 name equal to m2 so similarly for test case 2 i have need to add methods and then include and exclude tags so i will copy this inside the test case 2 as well okay so we need to remove this ending tag here and we will close our test case 2 class here from test case 2 uh, i want to run m7 and m8 okay so this is for test case 2 and even if you want uh, some control on your package 2 test case 3 and test case 4 uh, test methods that also you can do so let me include few test uh, methods from test case 3 and test case 4 so from test case 3 i am going to run only m4 and m5 test methods and from test case 4 i am i have included only m8 so last time we have run all the test methods that is uh, count was 16 so this time it should only execute this uh, m1 m2 three four five six and seven test methods okay so we should get text uh, execution for only this uh, seven test methods and all other test methods should not be executed so if you go to the console you can see here from the package one and from test case one m1 and m2 got executed from uh, test case two m7 and m8 okay so these are the test methods we have included by using this include tag okay so this is how this include tag will work and same for from test case 3 only two test methods m4 and m5 and uh, m8 from the test case 4 got executed okay so total test run r7 passes 7 okay so this is how you can in uh, use this include tag in test ng if you want to run some specific test methods from a uh, specific test uh, test ng class from a specific package so when we can use this include tag because it should take less time while configuring this test ng xml file so let's say you have 100 test methods okay so total count let's say total count is 100 and your manager said out of that 100 test methods only run 10 test methods okay so out of 100 only 10 has to be run so you just need to add 10 entries okay 10 entries with the include tag and their test methods name from that uh, particular classes right this can be done in a less time okay when you are going to run uh, 10 out of 100 but if you want to run let's say 90 out of 100 that means if you want to use this include tag then you need to add 90 entries okay 90 entries like this and you need to add the name of the method you want to run so this process will take time okay this is the complex process going to take more time so in this situation to reduce the time and this complexity we can use the exclude tag in the test ng okay so we can make a use of exclude tag so that uh, we can only give uh, the name of the test method you want to exclude okay so except that test methods all other test methods will be executed one by one 
सो लेट्स सी नाउ हाउ यू कैन यूज दी एक्सक्लूड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आउट ऑफ फाइव टेस्ट मेथड्स सो करेंटली टेस्ट केस वन हैव फाइव टेस्ट मेथड्स राइट एम वन टू एम फाइव सो आउट ऑफ दिस एम वन टू एम फाइव आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रन लेट से एम वन ओके सो दिस टाइम आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रन एम वन वॉट एवर टेस्ट मेथड्स अवेलेबल एक्सेप्ट एम वन दैट शुड बी रन सो इन दिस केस आई विल यूज दी एक्सक्लूड इंस्टेड ऑफ इनक्लूड ओके एक्सक्लूड नेम इक्वल टू एम वन दैट मीन्स आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रन एम वन फ्रॉम दी टेस्ट केस वन टेस्ट एंड जी क्लास ओके सो फोर टेस्ट मेथड शुड बी रन फ्रॉम टेस्ट केस वन एंड फ्रॉम दी टेस्ट केस टू लेट्स ए इफ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रन दिस एम एट टेस्ट मेथड सो आई विल यूज द एक्सक्लूड फॉर दैट मेथड ओके सिमिलरली यू कैन एक्सक्लूड एनी ऑफ द टेस्ट मेथड फ्रॉम टेस्ट केस थ्री एंड टेस्ट केस फोर ओके सो वी हैव एक्सक्लूडेड टोटल वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो करेंटली वी हैव सिक्सटीन टेस्ट मेथड्स इन ऑल आवर पैकेजेस पैकेज वन एंड पैकेज टू सो वी आर एक्सक्लूडिंग इन फोर टेस्ट मेथड्स एम वन एम एट एम फोर एंड एम सिक्स सो यू कैन सी इन द रिजल्ट टैप ऑल्सो एंड इफ यू गो टू द कंसोल यू कैन सी so you can see from the package one and test case one uh, test methods from m2 to m5 got executed m1 did not get executed because we have excluded it and from the test case two m6 and m7 and from test case three we have excluded the m4 right so you will not see any execution for the m4 here and same for the test case four where we have excluded the m6 so while using this include and exclude in your actual test project uh, first count the number of test methods you want to run if number of test methods to run is greater than the number of test methods you want to exclude then in that case you can use the exclude tag so now let's see how we can use this include and exclude for the package so for this purpose we don't require this classes tag so i will comment it out so by using this test ng xml file we can run our test cases at the package level or you can run our test case at the class level okay so previously we have seen the class level how we can uh, do that by using the classes tag and uh, include all the classes you want to run so for package level first you need to provide the packages tag after the test tag so here i will provide packages okay so i can have multiple package in my framework and under this packages tag i can provide the package name that i want to run okay so currently i have two package package 1 and package 2 so i will provide name here package name equal to in double quote i will provide the value so you need to provide the fully qualified name here as well so com dot qa dot com dot qa dot package 1 okay and same entry for the package 2 so this time it should run all the 16 test methods available in the package 1 and package 2 so you can see total test run 16 and it has run all the test methods from both the package so this is our first scenario for the package run all test from all the packages okay so second scenario is run specific package test that means i just want to run uh, test methods from the package 1 I don't want to run test methods from the package two, so in that case you can uh, remove this and you can only uh, run only package one. Okay, this is one way. Other way is you can use the include and exclude. So if we run this now, it will run uh, the package one test methods from this com dot qa dot package one. Okay, so this is the specific package name we have provided from this com dot qa. So if you want to use include and exclude in this case, uh, first remove this ending tag here, ending package tag. press enter and here i will provide include name equal to so i will provide the package name that i want to run so package 1 and uh, this package tag i will end here and from this com dot qa i will give 
वॉट एवर पैकेजेस अवेलेबल इन साइड दिस कॉम डॉट की वे एंड हियर यू कैन प्रोवाइड दिस स्टार ओके सो मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज वॉट एवर पैकेज अवेलेबल इन साइड दिस फोल्डर दैट मीन्स कॉम डॉट की वे डॉट वी हैव टू पैकेजेस राइट कॉम डॉट की वे पैकेज वन एंड दिस इज फॉर द पैकेज टू कॉम डॉट की वे डॉट पैकेज टू ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस टू पैकेजेस आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू इंक्लूड द टेस्ट मेथड्स फ्रॉम द पैकेज वन ओके सो आई हैव यूज द इंक्लूड टैग सो नाउ इफ यू रन इट विल ओनली रन द टेस्ट मेथड्स फ्रॉम द पैकेज वन so i think i miss something here so, yeah so while using including the package name you need to provide the fully qualified name right so com dot qa dot and then package one okay so it did not find this package one because of uh, we didn't provide the fully qualified name here so this time it should run okay so you can see total test run 8 and all these test methods are belongs to our package one okay so no or no test methods from the package 2 got executed because we have included only the test methods from the package 1 by using this include tag and if i want to exclude this test method from the package 1 you just have to use this exclude tag here okay so this time it will run the test methods from the package 2 okay so you can see package 2 test methods got executed Okay, so it is very simple to use this uh, include and exclude tag in your test and JXML file, uh, which enables you to have control on your uh, test case methods execution. And now, if we remove this exclude tag, okay, so as we have provided star here, it should run all the test cases means from all the test methods from the package one and package two as well. okay so you can see in the console all the test methods from package 1 and package 2 got executed okay total test run equal to 16 so you can use this star if you want to run multiple packages so if you don't want to provide separate entry so let's say you have uh, 10 packages that you want to run so instead of uh, providing separate entry for separate package here right like this name equal to then the provide the package name com dot qa dot let's say package 1 then package 2 same entry for the package 2 so instead of that if you want to run all the packages just provide com dot qa dot and then star at the end so it will run all the packages okay so it will uh, reduce your time so that's all for this session guys uh, let me know if you don't understand anything from this uh, have some practice on your own create a simple maven project add multiple test ng methods uh, multiple test ng classes and try to run some specific uh, test ng methods from the specific package or specific test ng class by using this include and exclude tag so please let me know if you face any issue in that okay so thanks for watching guys i will uh, see you in the next video soon